The electric vehicle market keeps expanding. More and more motor vehicle manufacturers are adding electric vehicles to their supply. And now school buses are being made all electric. There are a few operating in the U.S., including here in the Chattahoochee Valley. News 09's Justin Brown is live tonight at the Chattahoochee County School District building. So, Justin, you've seen these buses and you rode on one today as well. So what are school officials saying about the additional electric buses being added to their fleet? Well, Barbara, the school district tells me they were able to receive four new buses from this grant and they were able to replace four old buses, which desperately needed to go. Uh, two were built back in 1999. One had constant engine problems and the other just plain didn't run. School buses are a need in every community. Though not every family uses the bus system, it's still important to make sure every bus is running correctly and safely for every child. In Chattahoochee County, the school district was given a grant totaling over $1 million towards electric buses and charging stations. Chattahoochee County School Superintendent Dr. Christy Brooks says they had to replace four old buses, which needed to go anyway. We were not actually losing any buses by taking them off our inventory and uh, we were able to save our taxpayers dollars because we got free buses and we're also able to make a difference across our community and our environment. So it's been a win win for us. Dr. Brooks says they spent some time testing each bus to learn the limit of each battery life and how they ran in different weather patterns. She says with the stop on base at Fort Moore, the quick battery charging is a plus. Having the ability to have these buses that can charge so quickly and be out on the road so quickly has really just been a benefit for where we're going in the future. Willie Rembert is a bus driver for Chattahoochee County Schools and has been one of the primary test drivers. He says learning how the battery operates and experiencing the difference in noise has been eye opening. The noise level and I just like tinkering with stuff so it's just been exciting to me just to go into the future. Dr. Brooks says after being selected for the grant, it's exciting to see where they'll go. Overall for us, we've updated our fleet and I believe that we are hoping to see, you know, some good outcomes in the future for, you know, where does this really take us in terms of the environment. Dr. Brooks says they are one of four districts in the state to receive this grant, and she recommends that other districts apply for the grant as well. And Barbara, there's just no telling what kind of energy this spark will create. Live in Chattahoochee County, Justin Brown for WTVM News Leader 9. Likely will be an electric energy there, Justin, for sure. All right, thank you very much.